Hello, Paul Pluter, the method actor who plays Archie Luxury, reporting to you live on the Paul Pluter channel. The Paul Pluter channel is Archie Luxury's channel for paid watch reviews because Archie doesn't do shit for free. Free? Free? Free. We don't do shit for free, fuckers. And it's about time you cunts learnt that lesson. Today I'm doing a paid watch review for John. And before we start that, quick wristwatch check, I'm wearing a Rolex Explorer 2 Polar. Please like, subscribe, and tell your fuckhead friends about my channel. Ratings have been falling in recent times, and i got to get this momentum regurgitated. So fuckers, tell your dead shit friends, tell your work colleagues to watch the channel, and, you know, tell those cunts to fucking tune in. <coughs> okay, greetings Archie. This is the paid review because I don't do shit for free. 20 US for a paid review and I'll tell you what I think in all honesty. Greetings Archie. Please be, be frank as fuck in your review of my watch. This was given to me by my grandpa and I had it serviced, authenticated and appraised full overhaul at Rolex. My grandpa bought it in 1989 but lost the paperwork when he moved many years ago. I know it's basically an entry level watch uh, I know it's basically an entry level watch if I'm lucky. He bought it brand new then for four and a half thousand. It's now worth seven five as far as the appraisal says. Should I keep this watch or trade it towards something better? Got like ten thousand cash to explore. What would you recommend? Best buy would be for Rolex where the used new vintage for around ten thousand plus this date just. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. First thing I want to say to Grandad is, Grandad! Grandad! Where the fuck did you put the strap? The bracelet. Where the fuck is the bracelet gone? You've got it on a leather strap. Where the fuck did you put the bracelet? And this watch here itself. Man. John, this was given to you by your Grandad. Man, how could you sell it? How could you sell it off like that? That's that's a bit on the nasty side, John. That's a quite a nice watch. There's nothing entry level about a date just. That's a that's a great Rolex to have. What are you fucking talking? What are you smoking, John? That's a great watch. That's every bit as good as any other Rolex. So I don't know what the fuck you're you're smoking, John, but that's a very decent watch. You're just an ungrateful cunt who doesn't realize how fucking lucky he is to have been given such a great thing. You're an ungrateful shit. That's what I think. Man, I'd try and get a bracelet. I can, if you, if you email me, I can, I can source a bracelet for you at a good price. I've got a dealer friend who can get a bracelet for you. But man, you're an ungrateful shit. You got 10,000 to spend, I'd keep your granddad's watch. I'll tell you what I'd buy for 10,000. I would buy an Amiga Speedmaster Man on the fucking moon. That's going to set you back about four. And I'd get myself a Rolex Explorer 2. That's going to set you back about five. There you go. Five, then about a thousand bucks for the bracelet. <laughs> you got a perfect three piece set. Amiga Speedmaster Man on the fucking moon, Explorer 2, and your granddad's watch. That is sacrilege to sell your granddad's watch. That's fucking nasty. What did he beat you with a fucking stick? What the fuck is your problem, John? And uh, I don't know why the hell you went to Rolex. You would have been given a third asshole. Man, you're d doing so, so many dumb things. So many dumb things. You've had a, a. Did you really get it serviced by Rolex? Did you really? That was really fucking expensive. You should have gone to my mates at Jewelers on Time. Kenny knew when he would have done it for a fraction of what Rolex charges, but no, no, you need to go to Rolex. Well, I hope you fucking, they gave you, they gave you an invoice you fucking deserve. That's all I can say. You're an ungrateful son of a bitch. That's all I can say, John. Fuck me dead. I wish relatives had left good stuff to me. I got garbage, absolute garbage rotary from my granddad. And my old man, he's probably, his date just is going to be stolen by some other cunt before I come along. So, uh, yeah, it's just fucking, you're, you're really pushing the envelope there, you know. It's just not cool to be an ungrateful son of a bitch. 
So uh, take what you got. You're very lucky man to have that. I wish I was given a fucking watch like that. But no! No! you got to say it's entry level. Well, you're a bit of an insulting cunt. What's entry level about a date just? The only fucking thing, there's nothing wrong with that's a great watch. You should be proud, you should wear it with honour. Remember your grandfather instead of trying to fucking pawn it off, you fucking asshole. So yeah, that's my view. So anyhow, uh, what's his name, John? Sorry for hit hitting you hard. You did say be frank and fuck, man. I'm in a foul fucking mood today. I'm in a foul mood, so uh, I'm just letting it rip. So um, I, I wouldn't sell it. I'd add a couple pieces and fucking enjoy your, your granddad's watch. Enjoy his good taste. I'm Archie Luxury signing out for the Archie Luxury channel in syndication with Paul Pluto channel in syndication with MG to Archie Luxury MG Toe, Mimi T and Great Deal Truck Tires <clears throat> for the cheapest truck tires around. Tell me what you miserable fuckers think. Subscribe, like the video and tell your shithead friends. Archie Luxury signing out. Fuckers! We specialize in the repair of Rolex and Patek Philippe watches. We've been doing the same thing for more than 25 years. We have a Rolex technician certified by Rolex who actually used to work for the company for many years, like if we're doing the work on the factory. We completely disassemble the watch and we put it to work, like brand new condition. When you get a pre-owned watch, it's like if you're getting a brand new unit. The only difference is the money.